What's up you guys? So it's your girl April. This one is another fake scalp. I actually did one. Decided to do this one as well. I've had this unit since the very end of August from a company called Coco Black Hair. I'm thinking that I worked with them prior in a video like months and months ago. I'm not really sure, but I'm thinking that I did. If I did, I'll definitely post the video link down below. So for this time around, they sent me their fake scalp. It's called their Rose Pre-Plucked Lace Front. It does have a fabric on it, which is a little bit thicker than the actual nylon stocking cap that you do see most of the wig companies using to create the fake scalp. This one is a little bit thicker, so it means it will be more durable. It will not run. I did get it in 20 inches. I think it's 150% density. I'll definitely post it below. Like I said, I've had this wig for some months. You guys know the reason why I haven't been doing wig videos or any videos for the past few months. I just came back to YouTube. With that being said, you know, I did bleach, uh, excuse me, I didn't bleach the nuts. I did pre-pluck some of the hairline and I actually did bleach some of the knots. The part where it was after like the stocking cap, like a little bit, before the stocking cap, there wasn't any stocking cap, so I did bleach that area because I did notice speckles. And past the stocking cap, I was not able to bleach, of course. The first thing that I noticed, and I'll definitely input a picture, is when I got the lace wig, the actual fake scalp was very, very light. And I do believe it was the light brown, but it should have been called white because it was so light on my skin tone that there was really nothing that I could think of doing but taking and removing the cap but instead of doing that i just decided to use one of my lace tinting spray on the inside of the portion of the fake scalp so this is what their fake scalp looks like and this is just after a little bit of coloring that i did to it with one of my tinting sprays i can't even remember which color i used or which one i used because i do use two I used the wig extensions brand and I also used the Taylor Crowns brand. So I'm not really sure which one and color that I used, but it did turn it a little bit browner, okay? I just a tad bit. But the only thing that I'm worried about is because it's so thick, are you going to be able to see where the stocking cap actually starts at? Other than that, the hair is great. It did uh, wash easy. It was easy to pre-pluck where I could pre-pluck it. I did sew in an elastic band in this unit and it also does come with the pre um, with the combs pre-attached and also the comb and the adjustable strap in the back. In case you're wondering how much it runs for, it is actually on the website for $218, 20 inches, silky texture, medium cap size, and I have light brown I put, but okay, so it's basically almost more than half off this $488 without it being on sale. This is their 9A Brazilian virgin hair. So 9A grade. You know, there are other grades too. Swiss lace, natural color, 150% density. And it is a pre-plucked hairline and bleach knots. So they call this their rose pre-plucked fake scalp. We're just going to get into this really quick because hopefully what I did use worked. It does look like it needs it in a few more spots. But I do know if I use the beige by wig extensions that it's not going too dark. So I'm just going to see. And I'm just going to do it like around the front perimeter because I'm lying because I'll keep spraying, right? So you definitely want to either allow this to hair, air dry or it did, like, it did darken it or blow dry. So I'm just going to blow dry for the video's sake. All right, people, here it goes. All right, all right, all right. So you guys, you already know the norm of how to put on a lace wig, you know. As you guys can see, the stocking cap or the big scalp cap right there at the edges. I'm just gonna try to make it look as natural as possible. One of my favorite brushes that I'm using, I don't know where I got it from, okay. But make sure you guys have clips. I always say that, I always mention that, you know, I'm very repetitive because somebody might be new, so you definitely need some clips. And a good pair of scissors. I like small scissors. These ones are brand new. I got them at the Dollar Tree. They got these new beard beard kits. 
Okay, it came with this little tiny comb. So you wanna make sure when you're cutting the lace that you don't cut too close to the hairline because you don't want those hairs to fall out. Sometimes I do cut on the hairline because a little bit of the hairs is not needed, you know. Sometimes the hairline be a little bit too far down for me. So, you know, I just cut a little bit extra. But, you know, for your sake of not losing any of the hairs, try not to cut too close. But as you see here, I did cut some of them because they was just not needed. Now, this little piece on the side, I'm just gonna make sure to cut off because every little piece of lace that you remove is you know important you know just the littlest tiny piece that you might see will impact the difference in the unit a whole lot meaning it will not lay flat so girl make sure that you customize it and if you want to customize it to the point where you got you some sideburn hairs and some little wispy hairs or if you want to call them baby hairs and glue them down then go ahead but see what I'm talking about that little tiny piece that's just a tiny piece but it was by my ear which made a difference so I'm just gonna cut the sideburn hairs to the length that I want them into along with the wispy hairs. You don't have to do that. You can keep them as long as you want. It's optional. You don't even have to use none. But I'm just doing that so that way it will hide the edges of the actual fake scalp. Now I'm using the Got To Be Glam Force Hairspray because this is one of my favorites. It dries quickly and the hold is great, especially if you tie it down at night, if you decide to keep your wig on for days. If you tie this down, honey, your wig will be on for like at least three days. You may have to respray the sideburns a little bit, but hey. Now this is the gel, the matching gel. If you've seen, I did have it in an actual jar and that's only because it will make it thicker. It will oxidize it. Instead of it being runny, it will make it thicker, which will allow it to hold better and dry quicker and me spraying the hairspray on my toothbrush is only because I don't want the entire hairs to be hard I might be broken down but I'm smiling I keep my head up high though I fail sometimes I get a bit emotional but then I turn around and let it go I see you watching me from a distance I see you can't decide what to feel but if you dig a little deeper, boy, you know you really want to get to know me. Let's get this out of the way. How can we have another day? To tell you, you shouldn't wait. Don't be so afraid. Yeah, I'm a bit too much, but I'm fun and games. When I'm not consumed, I just want to play. If you are looking for one hell of a ride, just come and get it. Baby, I'm on yours. Hmm. Okay then, listen, first of all, I definitely had to represent today because, you know, like I told you guys, I really didn't know when I was going to come back to YouTube. So I definitely had to represent my son today. Um, for one, you know, it's been hard for me going through his things and separating his things and also sending his things off to my eldest son you know, because I want him to have his things. So some things I did keep of his because he and I had a lot in common, especially when it came to clothes. We loved graphic t-shirts. So I just, you know, I feel good when I wear his things, his shirts and things, you know, it makes me feel just good. And it just makes me feel like, you know what, I'm still representing him and we still have this in common. So Today's shirt is my son's, and I have wore quite a few of his shirts in a couple of my videos, um, but I just wanted to share that with you guys because a lot of you have still been messaging me, and I appreciate that, and I'm happy and glad that you guys still are. I've been getting through it the best way I can. I have bad days every day. Some of them are really, really bad, and this is the only way to keep me busy is to do my videos instead of me sitting around and letting the depression sink in. So that's the reason, and those are the things that help me cope somewhat. So I just wanted to share that with you guys, okay? So for one, I didn't even have to hairspray it down, hunties. I didn't feel like it. I just used the combs. I only had to hairspray just right here, this little piece. And of course, the sideburns, but I didn't go crazy and doing all that because it's just a lot, especially if it is a fake scalp wig. You know, you have to kind of like drench the actual fake scalp. And 
I've noticed that when I use the tinting spray, sometimes when you put the hairspray on the lace after you've already tinted it, I've noticed that I see like brown product running, which is the tinting spray. So it's semi-permanent. There is the line of demarcation from the actual uh, cap that is sewn onto it because it's a little bit too light for me. So unfortunately, you know, I'd have to have a medium color. Now, if you're wondering about the knots or they bleach, well, I'm looking here and I don't see them bleached. They, I see speckles. And I'm just going to part it elsewhere so that way you guys can, or we can both look together. So it isn't bleached. The knots are not bleached like how we would bleach them like all the way out. You know what I'm saying? They're there. I see them. And I'm pretty sure you guys can too. So it is like this throughout the entire cap. The only alternative to fix that is to either remove the cap, the stocking cap underneath, which defeats the purpose of it being a fake scalp, or removing it a little bit and then bleaching it and then sewing it back on. I'm not trying to do all of that. If I remove it, it's coming off and it's staying off because I actually really do like this wig. Like it's straight. I don't really do straight hair. And I'm, I'm wondering, should I just try to spray it on, on top? Think you ready now to leave the ground. In the area where you can definitely see it more. And this was the beige, which didn't really work out. So let's try the golden. In the fast lane, babe, you can make now the golden it. is probably going to work somewhat. Let's see. I promise I'll be there all the way. And if you get a little broken down, I'll let you get it Okay, so the golden definitely works for this particular one. Normally I use the beige because I don't have a stocking cap, a fake stocking cap. I'll just spray it directly on the lace and it'll work. But being that it's thick and the lace, the, the cap underneath is thick, you have to have a darker color or you have to order the right particular darker cap. So like I said, I ordered a light. And I noticed, I'm noticing that with the caramel, excuse me, the golden, it works a lot better. You don't see it as bad. I definitely would have to probably spray a couple more layers. But the one thing that I'm concerned about is the fact that the knots are not bleached like that. So, you know, you can see them. So the only thing that you can do is either to bleach them by removing the cap or just putting a little bit of makeup on it. Let's see. I'm going to try a little bit of makeup. And I'm just going to use my Milani press powder. Keep your head high. Let's get this out of the way. So it did save it somewhat, you know, it's not as noticeable, but if you want to avoid doing all of that, then I would prefer it to be bleach knots. That's what you're supposed to do prior to putting the cap on. But besides that, like, I don't know why I like this wig. Like, I don't know why. I don't really know why I like it. I think it's because I just don't even know. I just still like it. Like, it's still cute. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's straight. Y'all know I don't do no straight hairs, but it's still really cute to me. You know what I'm saying? It has potential. It definitely has potential. You know what I mean? It fit properly. It's If it's good, there is a little bit of wiggle room if you have a bigger size head um, than mine, but, or have more hair than mine, or you're smarter, meaning your brain is bigger. But it does, it does have potential. It definitely does. You know what I'm saying? So I will link everything below for you for Coco Black Hair. And along with that, any other information that I have, hopefully I'll remember to link the tinting sprays below for you guys if you're interested in them. And on that note, I'm like, yo, I got another video to do. So, you know, I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. Thank you once again, everyone, like every single one of you guys. Thank you for all of the love and support. Even those who do not like me and thumbs the video down, I thank you still, girl. And I will see you guys in a soon to come video. Come and get it, come and get it, come and get it, come and get it.